Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Cammy's Craftiques. I'm Cammy. Today I would like to share with you a DIY, DIY inspired by Ray Dunn Pottery. The materials that you're going to need for this DIY is one of these signs from the Dollar Tree. And I do recommend if you could get one of these signs with this insert or the one with the Scarecrow only because you don't have to do anything to paint this. You don't have to sand it. You can just paint right on top of it. Or, I mean, you can paint on the back, but these come usually with a sticker and they're sometimes a little rough to get off. Um, if you do use this type of sign with the glitter, I do recommend that you get some sandpaper and sand as much of this glitter off as you can or it will show through on the paint because we will be painting this. Okay, the other materials list uh, that you'll need for your list, and it'll be your choice of paint colors. Today I'll be using by DecoArt a black, it's called uh, Carbon uh, Chalk Finish Paint. I picked this up at the Home Depot. Uh, it was really part of my stash low, but I did pick it up for a, a different project. Um, these run this size, eight ounce, maybe about seven or eight dollars. I also will be using some chalk paint by Waverly. This I picked up in Walmart. Again, this is eight ounces. Um, it's like a linen color. These I believe I picked up in Walmart for maybe 50 cents or 99 cents. And the colors I will be using will be Pure Pumpkin and Terracotta. The brand is Craft Smart. So again, you don't, it's your choice of colors to go with your decor. Also, you'll be needing a couple of sponge brushes or if you have from Dollar Tree, the makeup uh, blendy blushes, brushes, the sponges rather, you could use this also because they you know, work out pretty well. And then you will need one paintbrush, as fine as you can get. This is about the size I use. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's a number or something on here. It says number one, and again, it's by Craft Smart. I don't know if you could see yeah I don't re really recall where I got it maybe at Walmart or Michael's or Hobby Lobby one of those places and depending on if you would like to do the outer pumpkin part whether you'd like to paint it or if you would like to use twine around it either or I have done both this I picked up also in Dollar Tree. It was a three pack. It's over by the florals and the crafts, like uh, where the wreath forms are. So if you get this, I'll just let you know, it is a little time consuming. I usually wrap up the, the edge of the pumpkin, like while I'm watching television or something. So that is the supply list you need. I am going to grab one of these rims, I already started painting it. So all I'm gonna do is shake up my paint and I'm going to start painting away. And I don't necessarily sand this, this outer ridge because I feel if it comes through, it kind of gives it, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. I kind of like that effect. So. When I paint it, I don't necessarily sand this. The sign is the one that you're gonna really have to pay attention to. So I'm gonna just pretty much paint this entire pumpkin, the outer edge of it, and it's covering, one coat will cover, but I usually do two. I try to cover all the glitter, but again, at the very end, you'll see Sometimes it does, uh, you know, show through, but yeah. I've made a bunch of these signs. I'm going to be using them on wreaths, and I'm also going to be using them alone because I like them so much. And I, I don't even have any of the Ray Dunn pottery, 
but I kind of like the look for this. I think it like is a good look for the fall and Halloween. So I'm just getting the inside edges over here. I hope I didn't go out of the screen, out of the frame rather. Okay, and I'm going to get up here. I'm just trying to basically cover all my sides. In the back, it doesn't matter if it's messy or not because you're not gonna see the back. I mean, you can paint the back and you could use it maybe for two different holidays, like one for fall, one for Halloween. It's all up to you. There's really no rules on this. Okay, and as you see, I'm getting a little messy because I just am. I put on my paint shirt. I'm not on camera because I have this old, old shirt on. Originally, I had a new shirt on, and I was like, yeah, we're not going down that, that route. Okay, so that is that. So next, I would advise you to get maybe a paper plate or something out, and we're going to put this on the side and pretty much let, let it dry off. Okay. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to get a paper plate. I'm going to use this as my palette. And what I'm doing is I'm going to mix a little of the terracotta paint. Oh, this is a new one, so let's shake this up. Okay. So I just thought this orange, it says it's pumpkin. I thought it was a little too too bright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of that out then I'm going to add some of the terracotta okay okay so this is what I have here and then I'm going to get my clean brush and I'm going to start painting this inner part. Nothing hard, nothing fancy. I'm just dipping in both and pretty much I think I'm going to first do the terracotta just to get enough coverage to cover up all the words in the picture. You do need sometimes three coats depending on the color that you're painting the pumpkin. Uh, I will show you towards the end. I've done several. So I did some black pumpkins. I did a couple of white ones. And I did a couple of pumpkin color ones. So it all depends really on the color. I also, but I didn't put any words or anything on it yet. I also decoupaged some um, like plaid scrapbook paper on them. I'll show you that at the end too. Because I mean, it's the... Ideas are limitless to the moon, infinity and beyond. Okay, so I know this is just pretty much, I'm just trying to cover it up. And if you're doing it along with me, what I am going to say is that hole that I just painted over here, I don't know if you can see that yet. I'll pick this up in one moment. I just want to get this evenly spread it because we have to let it dry in between our coats okay so I'm going to put this on the side here okay now I have I don't even know what what I did with it um, you just don't want to cover up that whole even if you get a pen, something just to keep it. Okay, see that hole at the top? You don't want to paint over that or later on you're going to really have a problem poking it through because you're going to insert rope or a pipe cleaner there. So now I'm going to check up on this. Yeah, it's still got a little dry time. So in the meantime, I am going to pause this video because you don't have to sit here and watch my paint dry.
I will be back.